Hello and welcome. Today we're going to be doing some ginger braids with beads at the end. I'm really, really excited with this style because it came out beautiful in the end. But yeah, of course I'm starting with the middle part and I wanted to kind of leave this part in just so I show you guys the process. As you can see, I always go to the front. I check it from all angles. I had to move her chair here because I felt like she was a bit off center and that would throw it off. I make sure that I go from the tip of her nose and I go back. Again, it's very important to make sure that you take a step back sometimes just to get a different perspective because it might look straight from the back but when you go to the front it might look like a hot mess so definitely you want to keep that in mind when you're doing your client's hair and then i just pre-parted we're doing medium so i did eight rows two on the bottom and then six from her ear to her middle part and that's what i did here and now into the actual braids let's get started i'm talking a lot today but yeah so let's get started so of course like i did in most of my stores this is your first one here I always use the same technique of I always make my first plait and then I start adding my hair in from the right side and then I always go in with three pieces of hair and after I've got a solid base I go in with the fourth right there and since she does have black hair I made sure that I tucked her hair a lot because I wanted it to just be like a solid color and not make smashy I didn't mind a bit of the black shown at the top but as I went down I made sure that I tucked her hair so now I'm just finishing up this braid and I made sure I braided with did about mid back for this length by the way. So I made sure that it had a consistent thickness just so where I added the beads it wasn't like super super thin. So sometimes I even go in and I add hair towards the bottom just for a bit of thickness because I knew I was going to cut some excess hair off. But I always go on my jam and I use my comb and I truly make sure that I comb it through and I get a solid base here. Getting a solid base when you're doing your knotless is super super important. Again, always look at it. As you can tell there, I use my fingernail to just take a little bit of excess hair away. But make sure you get that solid base. Make sure it's centered. Because if you just start your braid very, very loose, one, it will affect the longevity. And two, it just, the neatness of it won't be nice. So you want to make sure there, that you're getting a solid and firm base. Not tight, but solid and firm. Okay, so while I finish up this braid, let's do a little catch up. So I don't know if I told you guys, but I went to Nigeria and I got back almost a week ago now and it was really, really fun. I, I did vlog that whole like trip and everything as much as I could. And then I also got my hair done in Nigeria, which I was excited about, but ended up being a hot freaking mess. But I'm still going to post that video for you guys because I just want to show you my process and the hairstyle in the end. Like... It was a hot mess, but I'm still going to post that video. So yeah, those are some contents that I have coming your way. Also, let me know if you liked the last video where I did chats with clients. Because one thing about me and my clients, we chatted up. We love to talk. So chat, let me know if you checked out the last video. If you haven't, definitely go check it out. I was chatting with one of my good friends, Chris. And we just talked about life, school, marriage, job everything <laughs> we, just, we were just chatting about everything and i also have the second episode already recorded as well too which is more i feel like inspirational and stuff but definitely let me know if you like that series and if you want me to keep it up i think it's just fun just to kind of talk about what me and my clients talk about just kind of show what me and my clients talk about and have the good conversations we have because i know i've got asked about that before but like how do i chat out with my clients and all that so kind of just to give you a little bit of perspective with that so yeah
so i'm just wrapping up the second to last braid right here and quick thing let me know if you guys like the format of this video i sped up very little because i kind of just wanted to, you guys to just see how i take my time especially when forming the base i kind of pick up my speed when i start braiding more but I take my time a lot when I'm forming the base and I just kind of didn't want it to be like, I feel like sometimes with a sped up video, it looks a bit chaotic. So let me know if you like this format better, if it's just being more like chill and mellow and like music in the background and me telling, saying that I won't talk too much, even though I talk too much. But yeah, let me know if you like this format of the video better and I'll definitely keep up with it and keep doing it this way. We're about to get to the beats now. So yeah. Okay, so now onto everybody's least favorite part, or at least it's my least favorite part of doing hair, the trimming part. I We had to get this done, it just is what it is. And luckily there wasn't a lot to trim since it didn't braid all the way to the end. I couldn't go as fast as this video, I truly wish I could, I just sped it up. And next I made sure to trim off the excess hair. I did this because I didn't want to have to deal with unnecessary hair when pulling it through the loop and stuff. And I didn't cut all the way up to the braid because just in case a braid, I might have made one braid shorter than another. I wanted to have a bit of wiggle room. So just so when I'm adding the beads, it's all leveled. And I hope that makes sense. And then after I did this, again, just trimming it, leaving a little excess hair there. Then after I did this, I made sure that I dipped it in hot water. I've done this style before and I didn't dip it. And it just gave it a very stiff look. It didn't have the same flexi flexibility and mobility that normal braids do so i always make sure i dip it just so it still moves freely even though it's a bob not bob but like a shorter hairstyle it still needs that same flexibility and mobility that normal braids do so dipping it just eliminates all that stiffness okay so now i'm just shaking off any excess steam so i don't burn myself later on and squeezing out any excess water now on to the actual beads we use these like i'm gonna find the link and put it down below my client brought them I'm, they're like nature rustic vibes but they're not like the traditional like plastic beads they're the wooden ones and they just paired so so well with this ginger color and by the way i don't know if i mentioned but we did color 350 yes we did color 350 and it just paired so well with it and it just looks stunning and we did three beads on each like we had more than enough and then I made sure after I did that, I cut this piece. And I also cut that little piece that's always at the ends of the braids that sticks out. That's just something else that I make sure that I trim. And then I tried it to add the beads to cover the black rubber band, which is one thing that I feel like I'm going to know for next time. One, I'm either going to use clear rubber bands or later on, I'm going to show you instead of just cutting it right where I cut it, I'm actually going to pull it through the second bead and then cut it that way just so it's more seamless and you just see the straight beads and not the black rubber bands because although it didn't look bad, I feel like it would have looked a bit more seamless if you didn't see the black rubber bands or maybe if it was clear and you just couldn't see it. So that's definitely something to keep in mind when you're trying out the style. Like I said, right here, instead of just cutting it here, I'll pull it through the second loop and cut it at the top and that way it'll be a lot more seamless because sometimes I was able to put the rubber band through the bead and let it sit that way. Sometimes I couldn't and it was a bit frustrating. Another thing to keep in mind with this style, definitely ask your clients to keep your head straight. You don't want a moment where like maybe they're moving their head one way or sideways and then at the end they get up and you have an asymmetrical look and they didn't ask for an asymmetrical look. So definitely ask your clients to keep your head straight. You can see me here again fighting with that rubber band. Some went in, some didn't and it was just kind of annoying. But like I said, you're going to see me in a later clip where I'm actually like trying to physically like pull it through. And like I said, it would have been just easier if I just pulled it through after, pulled it through first and then cut it instead of trying to pull it through that second bead after I've cut it because then I was just fighting with that crochet latch and it just was not helping me at all. So yeah, that's definitely something to keep in mind.
Okay, so this is the clip that I was talking about. It's coming right up, but quickly. I don't know if I mentioned, but I do use a crochet latch. However, I keep the latch open when I'm inserting the bead, and I do that by pressing up the bead to the two to the roof of the crochet that way it doesn't close in it but as you can see me here i'm gonna start sliding and i'm gonna start trying to pull it through but like i said had i just done this prior before i cut it it would have been a lot easier instead of having to wrestle with the freaking braid but yeah this is pretty much all i showed i think there was like one more clip right here but i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial i'm gonna add some pictures and videos i think i just have videos actually at the end and yeah let me know if you enjoyed this tutorial let me know what you want to see from me next the nigeria vlog and the nigeria getting my hair done nigeria is definitely going to come up and much more of the content chats with clients and all that stuff so yeah thanks for watching and have a great day Thank you.